All right, welcome back. We have a 2000 Mercedes C280 in here with a wiper problem. Now, let's turn this thing on and see what it's doing. You can hear it running. There we go. One, one swipe. That's on intermittent. Let's take a look. It's extending and following the right sweep, but obviously we have some crazy issue here okay we got the hood all the way up pulling these little latches over here and we got to pull these things out so the little clips you push down on to get that out and we got to unscrew all these Long screws and two short ones in here. So keep them separated. And two nuts on the end. These are 10 millimeter. Little tabs here you gotta unhook. You can get in with your fingers sometimes or with a hook tool. It's got to be pointing up. If your wiper still runs, you'll have to get it to stop there. Obviously, we have an issue, so we're able to push it around. This. Come out. All right, before I take that off, let me just kind of feel back here. As I'm pushing that, I can feel the nut and everything turning here and the arm for the motor. I do not think that that is loose. I think it's an issue in the motor itself. These are Torx head screws. Let's uh, pop it open quick and take a peek. This is a T20. And bingo. Now you could see there's our gears, plastic gears all chewed up. So the wiper motor is bad. All right, the wire from the motor gets connected to inside the fuse box. You have to remove six Phillips head screws to take off this cover to get that plug undone. Um, we're gonna have to pull the whole transmission assembly out. So you got 10 millimeter bolts that bolting the rest of this thing in place. Another one there, another one down over there. So let's uh, start loosening these up and get that cover off first. The screws stay stuck in the cover, which is actually convenient. You don't drop them into a uh, something electrical. So there we go. Okay, the cover's off. You have access to the plug. Just pull that off. I had it loose already. A little grommet that's on there. This should be in park position, so when we take it out, we're going to leave it in there, pull the motor off, and put it in the exact same uh, position. We'll show you that when we get it out. You've got two nuts off, one, two, one bolt, and you have a little clip over here that you have to get loose. will all come out okay here's the assembly out of the car upside down the motor gets bolted in right there now if you look this needs to be timed in a certain way otherwise if you just bolt it back together your wiper will not be wiping where it needs to be or going in different spots now there is some lines I'll show you where there are there's a mark down there with a little V on it that's got to line up with this Okay, and then there's another mark on the other end over here, right there. So those need to stay. This is in park position right now. 
the hole that is on the linkage here and on here I actually have a new linkage here the only bought one thought is the linkage was bad there is no splines on it it's just a, a round hole the only thing holding it in place is the serrations on the nut and on the bottom part of the thing where it bolts same with this so when you take this whole thing apart if you're going to be taking this gearbox off the well the arm itself I don't know the technical name for it you're going to have to uh, make sure that line is lined up when it goes back together that line will be lined up over here and then this whole mechanism should just bolt down and you should be in park mode if you disassemble it more we're going to take some more of this apart to lubricate some other parts i don't know if we're going to pull this out but we are going to lube the mechanism that has the extension on it too so we'll take a look at that right now it's going to pop off out a little bit there that wasn't very tight at all it's just going to come off Now we can slide that off. You can't get that off any other way. And this really doesn't look that dirty in here. This car has got low miles. It's only got 78,000 miles on a 2000. So we're going to lube this up. I'd like to get in and maybe lube the gearbox in there too, but eh, I might be asking too much. Okay, we're going to lube this up and put it the cover back on. Now, if you have issues with this not turning there is a little plastic gear that's inside here that drives the mechanism to put the arm in and out so you would have to take off that nut take this off i believe there's a snap ring or something underneath there too then you could slide that whole mechanism out if your gear is broken you could replace it put some lube on the inside clean out any debris in there and put it back together and make sure that that mark is where it is where it needs to be so we're just going to lube this up cover it up and wait for our motor to arrive now if you want to make sure you don't mess anything up what i'm going to do is just put some marks on this so everything will go back to the way it was Shifted as you could see. I use a screwdriver to pop the arm off of the motor. 10 millimeter bolts hold the motor on. Okay, I stand corrected. There are splines on this. The new one doesn't have it, it's basically going to squash itself into it so when we get the new motor we already have the splines that are kind of self-made onto this one and we are going to reuse this transmission so we got to wait for our motor to arrive and then we'll put this back together okay the new motor arrived and we're halfway there now i don't need to be living on a prayer so if this video is helping you out i need you guys to like it and subscribe that will help me out so motor looks good plug looks good now before you bolt it on you want to plug it into the car turn it on see if it works obviously but you want to make sure that it is in the off mode and where it's going to be stopped because if you just throw it on here now and it was cycled some other way the wiper is going to run all crazy so all right, we got the ignition on. Let's turn the wiper on. 
All right, we're running good. That should be off. Let's see. Wiper should be in the right spot. Let's see how good the threads are in here. This is where all the marks that we made on here need to make sure they're all lining up the right way. Let me uh, get a better shot of this. Okay, we got the line there. That needs to line up. We put our magic marker lines on there too, just to make sure that everything goes back where it is. And you have the line, if you can see it, the line in. And there, there's a little V and a line that needs to line up with, with your wiper arm, kind of right down there. It says 13 millimeter nut. I'll hold this so it doesn't torque on us. Make it tight. All right, now we can throw it back in the car. All right, drop this whole thing back in. He's a ten millimeter again. Don't drop the nuts because they'll fall down into a hole and you need to fish them out with a magnet. Ask me how I know this. That's just a push clip. You push it over, hear it snap. Put your wiper back on so you don't scratch your window. And Plug it in and lubricate your windshield. All right, let's see what we got. Stopping in the right spot, everything looks good. Now we get to put all the plastic stuff back in here. Make sure you push the plug in good, put the little boot in there, and then you could put the uh, cover for the fuse box back on. And push the wire back into the little rubber grommet over here also. And then now the uh, plastic cover can go on. Now, I had the wiper standing straight up when I got that cover off. I might be able to fit it on there. We'll see. If not, you might have to have the wiper, you know, on and then shut it off where it's pointing straight up. We'll see if it fits without it. This plastic piece that has to slide under. Kind of see the dirt line where it sat before. Now we got the big cover. That end in here first. Yeah, you could fit that there. These were stuck underneath here. Put them back in place. And snap the cover back in place. Two short screws go under here. And the longer one. 
ones there and the two plastic nuts on each of them. And I snap in covers. Ah, squeaky clean windshield. Now, if this video helped you, do me a favor, please subscribe. That'll help me out immensely. Hit the like button and actually check out the other video of what I found in this car. You will not believe it. Thanks for watching.